Hey, what's up out there? Jeff the Social APC Business Solutions with Samantha Vangers. I'm one of the administrators of Mass Professional Networking and AMC Business and Solutions. AMC. Of course. Hey, you're, where are we right now, Samantha? What is that behind us? We are at the Gristmill in Sudbury, Massachusetts, and it is running right behind us. It's wonderful. This is like, I think we, we both kind of live out this way. We wanted to do something with a little history behind us as where AMC Business Solutions is based out here. So as we do every week, we do a video on Friday afternoon, four o'clock, but hey, guess what? Look who we have here. We're Samantha does now. a bit, <laughs> we're together. So, you know, that's a sign of things to come, I bet, right? That we're, uh, we're all starting to get together. We should have our masks ready, you know, and all that wherever we go. So what are we gonna do today, Samantha? What are we gonna talk about? We are gonna talk about online um, reputation management or yeah. ORM. ORM, some people call it ORM, Online Reputation Management. So what is it? It is how, your reputation online. Simply, either your business, it's how to monitor and, and monitor how, what's your reputation online, whether you're a business or your own personal brand, right? So you probably heard some stories out there, Samantha, right? Yes. That, uh, re that regret, right? You had that picture of you at a beer, but yet yes, you're a lawyer or uh you know, what's or that? You're great? underage. You're underage <laughs> and uh, you and you're drinking. Not good, right? So online reputation. Or you're that restaurant that, you know, overcooked the steak and somebody told you all about it, you know, that bad review, or you had a cranky wait staff, or you just had a bad day. That goes a long way because that person could go online on Yelp or any of those different platforms, right? Yep, and Google reviews as well. And do that. So, hey, I heard you have a great story. Yes, I it's don't... It's about shaving, by the way. I don't know if everybody remembers the fantastic Gillette commercial where they talked about what it means to be a man, um, where they talked about toxic masculinity and they showed a bunch of male stereotypes and with the general consumers, it did not go over very well because it is a shaving company. People felt like it didn't need to get political or go and delve into that. You sell razors, you sell shaving cream, and that's really what people wanted to see, or they felt like they could have ran the ad better. Exactly, and Gillette took a lot of heat from that, right? Mm -hmm. So you can imagine if you ever Google Gillette and see what some of the reviews were after that commercial. So you have to you have to realize this, you know, especially the past 20 years, probably before you were born, Samantha, yeah. right? You know, we're online now, right? Everything's online, your business should be online, and people can say what the heck they want. If you've ever seen social media these days, people are just off the wall, whatever their political view is, how they feel about stuff, they're all over it. So you have to realize that, and that affects your reputation. Your reputation's key, so what do we do? So how do we fix that, right? There are suppression campaigns you can do, right? You can have a company like ours do a suppression campaign. Uh, you could set up Google Alerts, right? Mm -hmm. You can do an alert where if a bad review comes up, you're notified, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody had a bad review of the grist mill, the water was too brown or something, they'll know about it, right? Mm -hmm. I hope the water's not brown. Right? The water was pretty, pretty good nice. right there. So, um, and also there's localized SEO campaigns you can do. That what does the suppress, get back to that, what that does is suppresses. So that way when you're, you're not searchable, your bad review is not searchable. Um, and then for a personal basis, let's say you are I, Samantha, right? Yes. All right, I'll face facts. You know, back in my college days, I did some crazy stuff, right? <laughs> I'm glad the internet wasn't around when I was in college, right? So you don't want you to watch the pictures. Even on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, everything is searchable these days. Yes, I was going to say, especially for students or if you're just just created your account always be aware of what you're posting because one of the, i know that when people are hiring they will look you up on your social media pages so be prepared for anything that you have on there to possibly come up if it might be bad so you want to be always aware of what you're posting yes imagine this you're out for that job and it's be your dream job and i'm talking from a personal branding perspective right right the hr pull, person pulls up a picture of you with a beer pong in your hands all right or in a bikini looking pretty hot on the beach hey your friends will like it well how will that hr person like that or your future boss so i'm not saying that you never take pictures of yourself with friends but just remember set show your make sure you set your privacy settings mm -hmm. so the public doesn't see your pictures again it's your personal brand your online reputation from a branding perspective right now get back to businesses right classic case you really 
I, I hear it a lot from businesses. They don't really care. They don't check. They don't have time. But you really need somebody to check your online reputation on a regular basis. Why is that, Samantha? You know? I just want to say, because it's important, you want to have somebody measuring what people are viewing at any given moment. And what you put out into the world is or is how you're going to be perceived for at first glance, at first moment, and sometimes second chances might not. Yeah, that's what you call, around. that's what you call first impressions. impressions. Yes. First impressions are very key. The first time somebody searches for your business online is the key, right? They're going to find out all about you. So if you need help with that, by all means, get in touch with us, online reputation management. And as you know, we do a lot of other things, websites and uh, social media management. But I also want to talk about events. We have a yes. social media 101 coming mm -hmm. up June 9th, right? We'll be online uh, through our group mass professional networking. And uh, I just want to let everyone know too, you know, kind of shift gears with Oak Mass Professional. Uh, we're going to be online for a little while longer. Uh, we're kind of monitoring the situation as far as doing events at, at, a, at a venue. I can't wait to see everybody. We miss you guys we in miss person. Everybody. I couldn't take anyone. I had to see Samantha today in person. <laughs> we're taking a risk, but we're, we are, we're healthy. And um, I hope everybody's healthy too. I hope this helped you. Please share this video, like our page. What do you say? Want to enjoy this a little bit before we... Yeah. She's heading to the beach. Yeah. I don't know where the hell I'm going, but we're going to have fun this weekend. Have a great day. Take Happy care. Happy Friday. Take care.